10 and 0. <coughs> week 12, and we're up three games on every team in the NFC, so I'm going to simulate a couple of weeks. We go with the lead, I'll just go all the way to the part of the last game of the season. Well, there's a breakout game, let's see. Oh, it's Delphi. Delphi's good, but if it was a DE, I might play it. Oh, we won the game anyway, 11 or 9. See the one up. Do route runner. Won that game too. No breakout. Oh, JC Horn's healthy now. That's good. Be the Bucks by three. Probably have the one seed locked up now. The division looks locked up. From up five games, I think, with five left, maybe, or four left. So that's the first loss. Also, at three. Another breakout game. All right, both corner. All right, this is a lot of, a lot of important players got upgrades this time. Man coverage. Dave's got two man coverage and two press. Hit power, finesse move. There's Dale Pitt. I'm gonna do run support. I'm just trying to get the whole defense strong to run support. Play this one. Michael Parsons needs three sacks or force fumbles or tackle for losses. I don't think I'll be able to hold him to 50 rushing yards and no touchdowns. I think this is, I think Parsons is already a superstar, I'm not sure. He's either going to be a superstar or X-Factor, but I think he's a superstar and this will go to X-Factor. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The numbers for him from a week ago. 18 carries, 81 yards. Are we playing old school football now? We've got the top 10 rusher in the league. He's sitting at number 10. Oh, but he has start. a chance to move up with a big time game. So expect that offensive line every time they go to the bench and tell the offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Laramie Tunsil, Pro Bowl tackle. I don't, I don't know if my homes will uh I'll try to my leave the pocket too throw. much. I say I might be able to play a um bring him down at the twenty-seven yard line. 
Play Parsons as a spine, get a couple sacks, but I think the better option is going to blitz him. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he's going to get to the 31 enough for the first down. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. To throw, it's Mahomes. That superstar lineman too. I need to put Parsons on the other side. And CD, defensively, you're going against a hot quarterback coming off a three touchdown game in their victory. For Diablo. But what's the big key for them to try to slow him down? You ask all the Suck and lose him around. I get a couple tackle for losses. Eventually. If you bring on those extra DBs, he sits back there and does what he wants. To me, it's going to be. I try to go for the holding him to 50 yards to make the last play of the game. They could just break a run. It's pointless. So they'll come up after the game of seven on a second and three. On the handoff, it's Singletary. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, that's almost a tendency breaker. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Good job there keeping him to a short gain. Of course, he's coming off a really terrific performance, reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And I know people get caught up in what the Defensive Player of the Week. You must have made a bunch of spectacular plays. Like you mixed in a few of those, but most of the plays are just like we saw there. Keep them to short gains and make the fundamental tackle. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Oh, I thought I had a pick. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. Right, that's fun. I think I only need two more. I think it was three TFLs. It was like a four-yard loss. It could have been a forced fumble, too. They'll run inside zone eventually. And lurk it. Shout out to waste time on offense. Now Burrow on first down. That's a terrible throw. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself your, you give yourself your first chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. Yeah, I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. I don't know why he steps so hard to the right. I didn't press screen or anything. How do we have time to hold on that play? You need your wide receivers as blockers. Why is there a milestone for a thousand passing yards on the season? Are often a result of what they do on the perimeter. In this case, got caught holding, and this one will come back. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Again, it's Burrow. Finding green complete. Swerve. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 43. They held on to that. That's nice. They didn't want him to start running. Went through it, but he did. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first. Jaw famous again. This is caught for a Falcon touchdown. CD Lamb with a lucky number. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. 
I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you give up a big of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position Making where it easy. every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Then. Just have, having Parsons inside the defensive tackle so he's going to get a chance. Oh, so he's actually going to. All right, I didn't think they'd run with Mahomes. That could have been a run the last one right there. The first as the tackle is made I don't play. I usually would have a spot, but literally the one yard. He had like a 90 yard punt. I was trying not to have a long drive. I don't think it matters anymore, though. Get him a little space here up to the five yard line. Gets a pick up of four and it'll bring up second down. Going behind you, Shaq. Now a handoff. He this outran me. And this is going to double their room to maneuver. Able to get it from the five I'm, I'm to the ten toss yard line. I'm going to toss in third down. So I'm adding ten. On third and one, Burrow. Oh. And it's going to be incomplete. The I shouldn't have thrown it to Ertz. I had someone else open, but then I thought he caught it. I'm put this is what you want to see from a defense. Give they never stopped inside zone for less than a yard. Going back out there, recommitting no. themselves to the task at hand. And forcing a three and out and giving the ball back to their offense. And he is going to have the first down as he's up to his own 13. I don't think Smith has a catch yet. Play action. It's Burrow. He's got Smith here. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. These two teams all tied after one. Looking to throw again on second down. Burrow. And he finds his tight end. about ladder on it. Oh, defender kind of stay behind. the 40 before he's out of like Patrick Willis. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open just, just a little underneath the route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Another try after the first down sack. Burrow escaping the pressure right. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Now Burrow. Oh, that pass was terrible. See Lane was open. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Quagley Diggs. And he will take this across midfield. And try to lead inside. Yard line. So the interception there. And Charles, I'd imagine that's something you can maybe live with in December, but not come January. And I love how you make the distinction there. You're talking about regular season versus the postseason, the playoffs. Yeah. Boy, the running backs not fast. The playoffs, Played that really bad. When they get into the postseason, they've got to take better care of the football. Because turnovers in that situation, they really become magnified. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside ceiling. Uh -huh. And they talk about blitz. Making sure that no one can the backside that can run a play down. And nobody leaked big play. Parsons. That should be the breakout game now. I don't need to score fast anymore. Nineteen. Damn. Second down and goal. Mahomes. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. 
They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that should have pressed Y, game. but I'm happy he knocked that down. Starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do Run the ball now, it doesn't matter. I was just trying to have fast plays until I got the three plays with Parson. Parsons. I'll probably super Simpson now. I want to try to score on this drive. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there. there. That's when you got to find out who's going to right, who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I, see them. I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw pulled in by Lamb. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Solid catch there for a man who's been so brilliant this year. Worth pointing out, as we were talking about earlier, there has never in the 60-year history of the award been a pass catcher, tight end or wide receiver, that has taken home the MVP trophy. And the best receivers I've talked with, they know that stat, and it drives them crazy because they understand that without a quarterback, they don't make the plays that they make. But they also don't feel like they get enough credit for bailing out some of the throws the quarterbacks make. Absolutely. Takes two to tango. Kind of ran in. into, um, I don't know if it was another defender or wrong guy, but still now, I feel like they might turn into an interception, but instead of it should have been a touchdown run. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Green with a catch, yeah, left side. Touchdown, A.J. Green. Touchdown. AJ Green. His first touchdown on the year. Let's see if we can keep the lead. Simulate. Trade touchdowns. scoring there's no doubt about that in this one Charles points they were not at a premium they were pretty easy to come by <laughs> they were but it was fun wasn't it because both teams mm, so of course has got the breakout play. games no suck we didn't but he had two tackle game. for losses in the sack when I stopped playing I simulated three quarters three four home runs mixed in. so for the Falcons they continue to make their case as a the rest of the season easier. And check the upgrades and uh, uh, the next one will be um all of it or probably the first playoff game so probably the next one I'll play. Let's force to get another point too. Right. Let's see. We got a hit power and agility. That's good. <laughs> 